Today we're going to be doing something a little different. We're going to be programming in C Sharp, uh, Visual C Sharp, be specific. Now C Sharp is very similar to Java, so if you get a little lost on some of the um, some of the concepts I'm throwing out there, um, you might want to try looking it up in my Java tutorials, uh, the videos that I posted. Um, Last time I had some free time. So this is C Sharp. Very similar to Java. Very easy to pick up if you already have experience in Java. What do I have open here? Microsoft Visual Studio 2008. Uh, t as far as I know right now, 2010 is either really close to being available or already available. Uh, however, it's not released to the academic developer network from Microsoft. So here we are in 2008. What we're going to do, we're going to go and jump right in, create file, new project, and make sure you're under Visual C Sharp, Windows, we're going to create a new Windows form application. Let's call it Hello World. Okay. Now our application is ready. It, it works. We hit play, play button's right there and it appears and it can do everything that a regular application can um, you can resize it you can minimize it you can maximize it and of course you can close it it's very fascinating however we're gonna add some more functionality to this application so this is my application right now it's called form one and if we look right here in the properties panel Wait, what happens if we don't have properties? Let's close that. We would go into View and choose Properties window. Okay, so we click it. We see Form 1 appears in the Properties panel. We're going to give it some properties, okay? First of all, what if I want this text up here to say something other than Form 1? That's kind of boring, right? So we're going to find a property that says Text. And you see in, under Text, it says the text associated with the control. That's describing the property. So let's change that. I'm going to change that to my first Windows Forms application. That's too long. Let's do something different. My first app. There we go. And boom, it updates just like that. Now I'm going to change one more property, and this is just so that the application plays nicer with the recording software. Um, I want to change the start position uh, to center screen. You see the start position determines the position of a form when it first appears. So now it's going to start in the center of the screen. Here, hit play. It starts in the center of my screen. There we go. And now it says my first app. Now we're going to change the default size of it a little bit. We're going to make it a little smaller. Squish it down. Okay. Now as exciting as this application is right now, we can do more. We're going to reach into our toolbox and add some controls. Now, here's where the toolbox is, but what, what, what if that's closed? How do you get to that? We go View, Toolbox. Okay, and we're going to add a control. Now, controls are objects, and objects get, get things done. So, first of all, we're going to add a label. We're just going to click, drag, drop. That looks like a good place for a label. Now, we're going to give it some text. Um, Hello world. It's a little cliche, but okay. And we're going to hit play, see what happens. Boom, hello world. Still, the, the, the excitement right now is unbearable. However, let, let's, let's do a little more. We are going to add a button. Click, drag, button. Ta-da. Um, button, text do something woo just like that and we need to make it a little bit bigger there we go button awesome just like that okay hit play click the button a couple of times doesn't do much but you can click it I know it's awesome now let, let's let's say we wanted to change this text when the button is clicked. Can we do that? Yes, we can. How do we do that? Well, whenever the button is clicked, it produces an event. In fact, a button can produce a ton of events, and um, so can any of these controls, really. 
And how do we access these events? Well, what we do is we go into the ev events panel right here. We click the little, little lightning bolt right there. Okay. And we're looking for the click event. Occurs when the component is clicked. Okay. So when the button's clicked, this is what's going to happen. Now, how do we write code in here? This little off, looks like an awfully small box to write code in. Well, double click that. And instantly you're transported to the screen for form1.cs. Now, what's form1.cs? It's, it's this thing. Um, this is form1.cs. How do we know? It says form1 right here. And its name is, if we go back to properties, its name is form1. Okay. Now, it says button one underscore click, and then it has some arguments. This is this is a method you've seen these before. So whenever the button's clicked, whatever's inside these curly brackets is going to be executed. Now we want something to happen to this label, so we're going to give it a name that we can refer to in our code. Right now it's called label one, but that's not very specific. So we're going to type in lbl my label. Lbl stands for label. Uh, indicating the kind of control. You don't actually have to type LBL, you can just do my label if you want, but this makes it easier to read when you have maybe lots of controls, okay? So we have LBL my label, and that's, as it says right here, indicates the name used in the code to identify the object. And let, let's give our button a name too, just in, just in case. BTN my button. Now, that's going to screw things up a little bit because we just renamed our button. So we're going to go back to here and we're going to double click. Um, I went back to the events and I'm just going to double click that again. Okay. Now you see this text changed to BTN my button underscore click. Okay. So what do I type in here? Well, what do we name our label? LBL my label. Oh, it appears in this drop down menu right here. Okay. Now, what is the property that we want to change? We want to change the text property. So, T-E-X-T, there we go, text. Now, text is a string. See, if I hover over that, it said string. Um, so, we're going to change it to um, you just, you win. <laughs> there we go, you win, that's going to be our text. Okay, so control S to save, hit play. Hello world, what happens when we click do something? You win. So there you go. That's our first very exciting Windows Forms application in C Sharp.